Hello guys, how are you doing today? This is the 41st episode of Python tutorial series. Python file write, write to an existing file. To write to an existing file, you must add a parameter to the open function. Uh, you either a append will append to the end of the file, w write will overwrite any existing content. Okay. So open the file demo file 2.txt and append content to the file. Okay. If it goes to open uh, demo file 2.txt comma append mode and f dot write uh, now the file has more content f dot close so after this particular processing you know we closed the file that's okay now f dot f equals to open demo file dot txt open and read the file after the appending i believe uh, if you do not close it then the changes uh, that was made will not be reflected that's why they close the file first and then open it f equals to open up like uh, two arguments demo file dot two dot txt the name of the file this is the name or the location of the file comma uh, the mood you want to open the file in and the mood is this time is read so print f dot read method so then i guess the whole file will be read if it is read line then one line will be read if this is read method then whole file will be read Hello, welcome to demo file .txt. The file is for testing purposes. Good luck. And this particular sentence has been appended. Now the file has more content. Great. Open the file demo file 3txt and overwrite the content. If we can to open of demo file 3txt, come out in W mode, write mode. So f dot write. Oops, I have deleted the content, and then then you f dot close so that the changes are reflected. Changes can be seen. What changes you have made? Open and read the file after the appending. F equals to open. Demo file three dot txt comma r. So print f dot read method, and you will see only one sentence. Oops, I have deleted the content because write is actually you know what it is about the w method will overwrite the entire file create a new file okay that's interesting to so create a new file in python use the open method uh, with one of the following parameters like x create will create a file returns an error if the file with the same name already exists okay a append will create a file if the specified file does not exist. Write method will create a file if the specified file does not exist. Okay. That's interesting. Example, create a file called myfile.txt. F equals to open my file dot txt that's one argument comma x is another argument if a file with this particular name already exists then there will be an error a new empty file will be created create a new file if uh, it does not exist So, you know, if you do not want to get an error while creating a file, you should use either the W method. Uh, w method is preferable because it, uh, it starts over from the it starts from scratch, the beginning. That's what. So, if you close the open of my file dot txt comma w w is the mode you open the file in okay 
Now we go to the next chapter python delete file delete a file to delete a file you must import the os module and run its os dot remove function remove the file demo file dot txt import os os dot remove of demo file dot txt check if file exists to avoid getting an error you might want to check if the file exists before you try to delete it. So import os if os.path.exists demo file.txt colon os.remove of the demo file.txt else print the file does not exist. Okay. So what will you delete? The file does not exist. Delete folder. To delete an entire folder use the os.rmdir method remove the folder rm possibly stands for remove rm directory something like this remove the folder my folder import os os.rm remove directory ddir of my folder you can only remove empty folders okay so the folders which contain files they cannot be removed or can they okay guys the python tutorial is finished in a way so i have got back here I'm going to show you where I have got back. I'm now here Python regex. If you remember from episode uh, 39, maybe 38 episode. That actually uh, maybe the 37th. No, no, it's the 38th episode possibly where I avoided this particular chapter. Uh, Python regex. I just uh, read this chapter for like two minutes and after that I quit I went to the next one but uh, now although I have avoided most of the part but here I want to read it from okay so the find all function the find all function returns a list containing all matches print a list of all matches import re R is stands for regular expression. Tx, txt equals to the range in Spain. X equals to re dot find all ai comma txt. So there are two times the rain and Spain. That's what print x. That's why there will be two times. AI, AI. Once again, import re return a list containing every occurrence of AI. Txt equals to the rain in Spain. X equals to re dot find all AI comma txt comma is the object of the print text. Then you will have AI, AI. The list contains the matches in the order they are found. If no matches are found, an empty list is returned. Okay, and return an empty list if no match was found. Okay, import re txt the range in span x equals to re dot find all Portugal comma txt print x. You know Portugal is not present in the range in span txt, so it's gonna be an empty list. Why is it taking so long? Import are txt equals to the name in span. Check if Portugal is in the string. X equals to re dot find all. Uh, in Portugal, comma txt print x. No, you know. So empty list if x. So 
like we have uh, studied we came to know earlier that actually an empty list returns uh, false so if x if x is true Uh, print yes, there is uh, at least one match, else print no match. Since x is false, so we are going to get to else, and no match will be printed. Okay, now the search function, I will deal with this later. Let me see how much. I guess this is going to make a whole new episode. Okay guys, this was probably the 41st episode, see you again in the 42nd.